Let's take a quick look at Local Vikings Reporting Suite. To get started, you're going to click on the Reporting tab in the main nav. And then you'll have two links here. The first one's going to show you reports that have been generated. And the second one is going to show you the place where you will set up the actual report itself, or the scheduled report. I've clicked on configurations, and you can see existing configurations as well as their schedule, when they've last run, when they'll next run, and when they do run. You'll also see how many reports each configuration has already generated. You can edit the configuration at any point in time, or you can generate a new report right now. To get started, click the Create Configuration button, and that is going to put you in this new report configuration screen. Now, the first thing you're going to select is your white label configuration. If you haven't watched the video already, please watch our video for creating your white label configuration. If you have a white label configuration set to default, you can leave this blank, and that's the one that this report will use. Then you can select your location, simply click in the drop down. You can either select a single location, you can select multiple locations, or you can select a tag. Then you're going to choose the properties or the insights that you would like in added to this report. In this case, I'll leave these all checked and I'll just uncheck this unspecified data that comes back from the GMB API. The first option down here is show zero value properties. By default, we are going to not show any of these insights that have a zero for the time period that you're reporting on. This could be if you have a new listing or if you just didn't have any insights for that time period for any of these attributes. The next thing is going to be show decreases. So if you have this set to default, which is just leaving it off, that means that if any of these have a decrease between your reporting periods, let's say last month you had more direct queries than this month, then that would also put that out of the report. If you toggle both of these on, then you will have all of the data in the report regardless of it's showing a decrease or if it just doesn't exist at all. Next, you can schedule your report. You can either do weekly or monthly. Let's say, for instance, I wanted this report to go out every month on the last Monday of the month. This is how I would do that. You could say that you want it to go out weekly every Friday. The next thing you're going to choose is the data period as well as the comparison date range. The first choice is going to be weekly. You could be reporting week over week, or if you choose monthly, you can compare the data against either the baseline, which is the first period of time that the listing was added to the Viking platform. So let's say that I maybe added this listing in January and it is now October. I would compare October over January. Next month it would compare November over January and so on and so forth. The same period previous year is going to report this October versus October 2018. And then the previous period is simply going to be the previous month. So we could look at September over October. The next thing you're going to select is which internal users would you like to get notified when a report has been generated. And then finally, you can choose your who you send this report to. So for instance, this could be your client's email. This could be internal members emails. This could be any sort of shareholders of the organization, you can put them in the two, and then you can select who you'd like to CC, as well as blind carbon copy. Then you can customize the subject of the email, as well as the message of the email. Once you click save, that report configuration will then start working. If you need any help with reporting, simply hit us up on live chat, and we'll be glad to step in and give you a hand.